Well, hello, hello. Welcome back for another video, you guys. I'm really excited because today's video, we are gonna experiment with so many products. As you guys already know, we're gonna be doing a full face of NYX products. And I'm so excited. I've never done a full face of one brand before. So I was like, okay, let's just do this. Um, NYX is one of my favorite, favorite drugstore brands. I just think they really cater to a lot of different skin tones, affordable price. You can just find them everywhere. It's just easy. I love it. Um, so yeah, if you are brand spanking new here and you're looking at my face for the first time, um, go ahead and subscribe. If you love beauty videos, I do tutorials, hauls, reviews, and uh, yeah. So <laughs> also for my oldie but goodie subbies, hey girl, it's really nice to see you again. Thank you for coming back for another video. Okay, so um, let's get things started with some primer. So I've got two primers from NYX today. The first one here is their NYX Soft Focus, and I've never used this one before, but it's supposed to be a good, like, smoothing primer. So I figure what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the um, areas of my face that are kind of oily, and also have a bit more texture to just, like, smooth things out and create a, a nice, smooth base. So when you first look at this little guy here, it's like a beigey kind of color. And it probably looks like white on camera, but it definitely is beige. And I swatched it earlier because I was like, uh, is this gonna make me like look ashy? But it just goes on really clear, so that's super nice. Okay, so now for the parts of my face that are not oily, I'm going to use the NYX Honey Do Me Up uh, primer, and it's really nice. It has honey in it. It's kind of like has a natural antiseptic, you know, because of the honey, and also it's got little mini gold flecks, and it has never irritated my skin. Uh, the only thing that's weird about it is the little, like, spatula thing here, but I mean, it's kind of fine. It doesn't really matter. Now... For foundation today, I'm going to try this new foundation, the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. I'm really curious about this. I've used the NYX Total Control Drops, and those are nice. They're not my favorite drugstore foundation, but, you know, I was like, let's be adventurous if we're going to do this tutorial, and I really want to try this one because it's matte. If you live in a hot or humid place for the summer, then, you know, you're always looking for that perfect matte foundation. So I'm like, okay, let's just play around with it, you know? So far, the color does not seem to be too bad. I'm actually just gonna like dot this on my face and then I'm gonna use the NYX foundation brush to just like smooth things out. Okay, so this particular color match of me is not my favorite. And as much as I didn't wanna use other products during this, I definitely need to correct this. If you ever have a foundation where it's just like too red, too orangey, too something that is not you, you can definitely correct it with your face setting powder. So don't be alarmed. I know this is like really scary. I'm like almost Oompa Loompa status, but I do have some face powders that I can use to fix this. So we're gonna get there. <laughs> and just as a side note, this particular shade is Deep Olive. This in store looked like it was going to be the closest match to me, um, but apparently, obviously, it's not a perfect match, but uh, we'll keep going. For the concealer, I'm using the NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer, and this is in the color Deep. So I've definitely done a review on this in the past. If you want to check it out, um, I'll have it linked probably in the little info card up above. This concealer is like so amazing, guys. And uh, I believe it is waterproof. Yes, it is waterproof. One of the best things about this concealer, you guys, is it is so full coverage. Like, if you haven't slept in a long time or you just have a lot of dark circles anyway, like, this will help you out for sure. The only challenge is you just have gotta find, like, a color that matches you perfectly. Um, oh, I also am going to add this down the center of my you know nose and also my forehead just a little bit in the forehead okay so to set my under eyes i've got the nyx hd finishing powder 
I've heard really great things about this, so I'm excited. I'm just going to lightly tap this under the eye. It's actually a really nice finish. I like that. One of the coolest things about this setting powder is it really just gives you that like nice, smooth, like blurred finish almost. I don't know what they do, but I definitely love that and it doesn't like look ashy on my complexion which is super 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 important so now it's time for us to go in and kind of correct some of this orangey situation that we got so I'm using my favorite Laura Mercier uh, powder to just do that now obviously this is not a necessary step if you have a foundation that matches you perfectly but given that I wasn't aware that this is going to look so orange on me, I definitely want to correct that. So I'm just using a powder brush and I'm just kind of like going in and setting that. And see how this set already looks better? I feel like this powder has so many uses. Like you can use it to put it under your eyes, you can use it to craft foundation. It just like works with everything. And from what I've seen, um, I think a lot of people in the brown skin tone range seem to really like it as well. Now I'm going in with Lancome in the shade 500 on the outer perimeters of my face. And this is like very light dusting, guys. I'm not kicking it on. Okay, so now we're looking pretty good. Like check this out i fixed it right so it's not as crazy as it was before and it definitely matches my chest area so now we got a contour okay so i picked up the nyx wonder stick and this is the shade deep i cannot tell you how hard this is to find where i live like is that is it like that with you guys like the particular shade deep because they have light and medium and universal but deep is really hard to find and I'm using the actual contour side because just like look the highlighting side I'm sure it looks nice in some skin tones but it's too light for me like it that's a no it's a no for me dog it's a no but the other side looks really 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 nice and it looks like it isn't too dark either and I also like to take my contouring shade down like where my jaw is just because I feel like it helps transition it easier. It kind of gives the appearance of a cut jaw sometimes. <laughs> and now I'm going to use this Eco Tools to just like blend it out. So I like the deep shade, but honestly, I'm like used to my contour my at least cream contour being a little bit darker but I can see this actually in the winter time being really really nice on my complexion I'm still just like you know a little bit tan from being out and about in the summer but I think winter it's gonna be really really nice now because I don't have any powder contour from NYX I know I should have gotten some but like I just failed guys <laughs> I'm gonna take the HD setting powder right here and just kind of set that all right so this is definitely a little bit different than the way I normally do my makeup but I'm having fun cuz like to me it's kind of like a challenge you know okay so now we can move to eyes and you guys I have like three palettes from NYX. So I've got these three right here. This one is the NYX Ultimate Bright and it's their electric palette. This one here is the Ultimate, it's their just regular brights. And then this one here is the NYX Warm Neutrals. Now the Warm Neutrals, we don't have enough neutrals already. <laughs> this is basically a really good dupe for the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Res Renaissance palette. It's has very very similar colors. I couldn't find like a NYX eye primer that I really liked because I don't know NYX must be really popular where I live. I just couldn't find it in any of the stores. So I did use the Urban Decay Primer Potion just because I want to use some color and I really want like a nice even base so that the colors can pop. You know what I mean? For the transition we're going to go into this orangey color here and this palette is so pretty you guys so i'm just creating like a nice transition with this like we're definitely gonna go really 
different <laughs> with the eye colors that I'm going to be using. So if you like bright colors, then this eye look is going to be for you guys. Okay, so now that I have that nice soft orange look, I'm going to dip into the yellow. I'm going into the darker yellow, this one here. Um, none of them have names, so it's just just a darker yellow <laughs> and I'm gonna add that as well as like a secondary transition color I have hooded eyes guys so like sometimes these looks are a bit harder because you're like is anybody gonna see them you know <laughs> with my eyes <laughs> are they even gonna see them but it's gonna work out and this is kind of nice it's like adding a nice like mustardy hue. Now I'm going to work with the um, electric palette right here and I'm going to go into this matte kind of greenish yellowy color, lime green I guess that's what you would call it, um, but it's still in the yellow family so it's going to work really nicely. And I'm just patting it on because I don't want to cause any fallout and I want it to be as pigmented as it can be. Okay so now I'm going to go into this like metallic-y like foil shade right up here and this one is going to be more of like a topper for the yellow that we have right now to make it a little bit more like shimmery okay so as much as I really wanted to like some of these neon shades in this palette I do find that although they have a lot of fallout like if you're trying to add other colors on top of them they don't work so well. It's weird. Like it kind of like falls off your lid. So it isn't as pigmented as I would like it to be, but I think that it works, you know? I mean, yellows are pretty hard and like lime greens are pretty hard to work with in general. So I'm like, okay, you know, this isn't too bad. Now I have this uh, white liner from NYX. It's from their faux white collection. And this is in the color linen. And I'm going to put this like down on my lower lash line to like make my eyes look just a little bit bigger. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna choose this cute little purple color. I don't know where I'm going with this look, but we are doing it. <laughs> so I went ahead and applied a liner off camera. I don't have a NYX liner, so I used one from Maybelline. You can check the description box if you wanna see which one I used. But I did, get a mascara from NYX. It's the NYX Double uh, XL. So this is supposed to be a like Lush Lashes Mascara Volume and Define Mascara. That's what it says. Um, so I'm not going to use any falsies today uh, because when I went to um, the Macy's where they like have a little NYX section near my place, the NYX lashes just didn't look popping, so I was like, eh, I won't use that, but I will use their mascara. So the mascara, I mean, it definitely looks undefined, but I made the mistake of putting it on my bottom lashes, and the problem is, like, this little wand right here, it's just too big to, like, fit comfortably on the bottom lashes. So, um, top lashes, it looks nice. It's not, like, my favorite, but... It's like doable, you know? I mean, I don't know. My lashes, honestly, you guys are like so freaking tiny. I don't even know if anybody can see them, but you know, it works. So let's move on to blush. I've got the NYX Cream Blush, and this one is the shade Natural. And honestly, I'm just gonna try applying this with my fingers just because I don't know like how much product the Beauty Blender will like deposit on there, but let's see. Oh, that's a lot, that's a lot. Okay, guess we do need a makeup sponge. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really see much happening there. Like, it kind of just disappeared. I do have a backup blush though, but you, you guys are gonna kind of laugh. So this is their Ombre blush, and this is in the color Feel the Heat. Like, damn. That's a blush, that's a blush. So <laughs> let's try this out, you know? Okay, I'm gonna stick with the upper echelon here. Oh, it's actually, it's actually really pretty. And it has kind of like a sheen to it. Okay, so now we gotta do uh, some illuminator. I do have the uh, NYX Born to Glow, which is like an oldie but goodie favorite for me. It's just always so pretty. 
Now, I'm gonna go ahead and try this like color up here as a highlight. Do you see that? You guys see that highlight? It's it's popping, it's popping. Uh, so now we're gonna move on to lips and I'm gonna kind of go real dark and vampy. This is the Butterfloss in the color Black Cherry Tart. I really like this lip color. Now, this whole makeup look, you guys, is like super like drama, 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 but I'm digging it because it's like so different than what I normally go for. Um, I did have to use, you know, a couple products that weren't specifically NYX just to make this whole look work. And uh, I'm really, really happy with the way that it turned out. And I definitely want to know some of your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. And, you know, let me know what are some of your favorite NYX products. I know that, like, you guys have, like, really, really great suggestions. So I'm always curious to see what you guys love about certain brands or certain products. Um, yeah, and uh, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!